energy cleansing. So stand with your feet hip width apart. And we're going to gather the healing chi, the universal healing chi that surrounds us, and take that uh, chi, that energy from whatever source fits your religion or philosophy. If you can join it with your religion or philosophy, it makes it even more strong. So inhale, gather the healing chi. And as you exhale, bring it in and down through the bikeway gate at the top of your head. That's the gate for heaven chi. And down inch by inch through your body, visualize the fresh energy flushing out stale energy pain and illness, stress and tension, toxic substances, flushing them all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the depths of the earth. And again, inhale and gather the chi. Then as you exhale, bring it in through by way and down again, layer by layer through your body. Feel the fresh chi flowing through every bone and muscle, every organ, cleansing and healing, all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the earth. And one more time, inhale and gather the chi. Exhale, bring it in through back way and down again inch by inch through every cell in your body. Healing and revitalizing all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the earth. All right. Now that energy cleansing exercise, you can do more than three times if you like. Just be aware that uh, this, uh, bringing the chi down lowers the blood pressure. So if you have low blood pressure, it may make you feel a little bit woozy. So be careful in that case not to overdo the exercise. <laughs> so high blood pressure is caused when the chi rises up in the body, usually the liver is uh, malfunctioning when that happens. So we want to lower the blood pressure um, by putting our mind in the lower dantian, or in this case, bringing the energy down and out the bottoms of our feet. Uh, if you find yourself becoming angry, um, and that's why your face gets red when you're angry, uh, because your chi is rising. Uh, put your mind in the lower dantian and do deep abdominal breathing and you'll find very quickly you can calm yourself down. Okay, so now I'm in a bit of a quandary because I was going to take you through Tai Chi ball breathing, but Tai Chi ball breathing is very meditative. And uh, I'm not sure what's happening where you are, but where I am, we have uh, these loud claps of thunder. Uh, and so I will uh, go ahead, well, it seems like it might be poop and I'm um, tapering off. Let's hope so, but we may have to stop and do something else uh, instead of being meditative because of the uh, loud noises. Okay, so Tai Chi ball breathing. Everybody who's with us knows Marshall Grand Circulation, right? Yes? Yep. Okay. So, from Marshall Grand Circulation, we'll go to Tai Chi Ball Breathing. So, hands facing the earth. Reverse abdominal breathing. As you inhale, gently pull in the lower abdomen, gently lift the perineum. And as you exhale, 
gently push out on the lower abdomen, gently push down on the perineum. Keep your mind in the lower dantian for the moment. Inhale, abdomen in, perineum up. Exhale, abdomen gently up, perineum gently down. In, abdomen in, perineum up, out, abdomen gently down, perineum, abdomen gently out, perineum gently down. Now in the beginning, the movement of the abdomen usually start with just in and out movements on a flat plane, horizontal, okay? In, abdomen in, perineum up, out, abdomen out, perineum down. Now as you get comfortable with reverse breathing and get control of your abdominal muscles, this in and out flat plane movement, linear movement, becomes a circle, okay? A small circle at first, so it's abdomen in and perineum up, abdomen out and perineum down, okay? So it becomes a circle, which in the beginning you should keep small and keep down here in the pubic region. And again, as you get comfortable with the reverse breathing, you can gradually make the circles larger. So what we want to be careful about is when the circles get larger, we don't want this area uh, between the navel and the uh, solar plexus to tense up. We want to keep that area relaxed because diaphragm is still coming down even while perineum is coming up and the abdomen is coming in. So if you're not careful, you can create tension between those movements of the abdomen and perineum and the dropping down of the diaphragm. So keep the circle small to avoid that tension until you get very good feeling for the abdominal now, inhale, mind in the lower dantian, abdomen in, perineum up. Exhale, mind under the hands and feet, abdomen gently out, perineum gently down. This, of course, is the four gates breathing. So we inhale, mind in the lower dantian. Exhale, mind below hands and feet. Abdomen gently up, perineum gently down. Long, slow, deep, even breaths, breathing out through the four gates. So this is a very healthy exercise because it helps to improve chi circulation in the channels that are connected to the 12 organs. And the channels that run through the arms and through the legs.
Okay, now, for Tai Chi ball breathing, of course, we want to lead the Chi to the Lao Gong gates <coughs> and create a ball of energy, the ball of no ball. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought the uh, storm was moving away, but it's that's uh, another band coming in or something, so. Uh, so, in order to uh, increase the amount of qi going to the Lao Gong gates, remember we have this uh, thing we do uh, by opening the Ming Men gate between L2 and L3. Same level as your navel, okay? So that's the back door to the lower dantian, remember? So, and our trick is to squat down slightly and tuck the buttocks under, flatten the lower back to open the main man. So we have yin jiao, which is the uh, front gate to the lower dantian, through which most of the qi usually flows. But we will want to, when we want to enhance the flow of qi to the arms for martial power, tai chi, bal chi, gong, exchanging qi through our hands with the outside environment. When we open up the ming men by tucking the buttocks under. So we do that halfway into our inhalation. Remember, we start the inhalation with the mind in the dantian. Abdomen in, peer knee them up. Then we squat down slightly, move the mind from the lower dantian to the shui, the governing vessel 14 point, right below the collarbone. And we finish our inhalation by drawing the chi up to da shui. Then we exhale and just like with the four gates breathing, we move our mind to beneath our hands and beneath our feet. Bye. Electricity just went out. <laughs> I don't know if you're still there, but uh, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs>